fram till Superman Galaxy. Eh, för avsnittet så är det jag typ resten av stjärnorna. Så nu är jag 120 stjärnor här. Eh, det är coolt. Men man måste döda Bowser ännu en gång för att klara av hela spelet. Så vi går och pratar med Rosalina igen här. Yes. Eh, det här. Okej. Okay. Eh, the fate of the universe. Så kör vi. Jag kommer nog skippa tills jag är vid eh, Bowser-bossen. Eh, Eller typ det gör som blir snabbt. Vi får se. Men i alla fall, nu kör vi. Det här nu. Eh, här är bossfighten då. Eh, skippa det här. Nej, verkligen inte så. Mario! Okej. Okay. Vad har den här gången kommer med? Uff, kör vi. Watch and weep. Do care, a loser. Blah 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 blah. Bra. Show me. Oh shit, Mark can fly. Wow. Oh, Mark can land. Yeah. Wow. Sport. Wow. Bara vänta lite. Så, eh, bas nu. Ska vi se. Bowser, oh shit, vad gjorde jag det? Ugh! Ägg. Eh, Kroppen. Quiz. Eh, uh, wow. Svårt. Det är svårt. Kom då, kom då. Oj då, det gick inte. Jag fick pengen. Wow, shit. Så kan det bli en boll eller? Kom då! Mm, yeah! Wow! Han tog mig eller någonting? Vänta, nej. Tog jag. Ha, ha. Jag är loser. Kan jag vara på den här? Åh, jag tog inte emot den. Kan jag vara nu? Yeah! Åh! Oh. Don't take. Do 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 Yeah. 
Jag har spelat på riktigt. Brinn sa jag! Alltså han borde redan brinna över det här laget för solen strålar borde typ... Alltså... Ja. Om man slår så här nära solen eller den här lavan eller vad det är på skit så man dö direkt. Det är så himla varmt. Normalt ska vi bara smälta, och det ska vara typ super smält i bråsorna. Wow, en silver stjärna. Är det någonting i den? Nej, det var inte, okej. Okay. Det ser nästan ut som att det är något i den. Nej, det är bara att det är typ ljus eller någonting. Tadadå! Det är bra Mario. Ska vi se vad som händer. Jag tror man upplåser Luigi nu. Jag är inte säker. Så man kanske jag gör en lycklig av det. Super Luigi Galaxy. Se. Wow! Peach! Och bara syr du! Du kan skriva det här kan... Åh oh, du är en gullig. Wow! Skulle vilja skippa det här. Spanna av knäppen. Det är knäppen också. Alla knäppar. Det gick inte. Wow. Alltså. Oh, kan jag skippa det här? Det kan inte Det 
Är det typ ett svart hål eller någonting? Nej! 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 Hon inte ifrån mig! Nej då. Alltså jag fattar inte om det bara är någon hål. Det kan man inte bara... Alltså jag fattar inte, han dör i det här spelet, så eftersom jag är svår så är han inte kvar och det är skitkonstigt. Just det där. Två tornados som bara... Alltså det här, jag fattar ingenting. Wow. Jag kan skippa det här. Här är jag. Wow! Vad är han? Skit. Jag har inte kallt sig in så jag inte gå och skippa. Yay. Och har det så här som man gör att två skapas och okay, en fattar jag. Fast de planeterna ser man inte. Men... Eller det finns en planet som man ser som man gör två. Eh, och skippa där. Mm, knappt. Nej. Det finns alla knappar som finns. Okej okay, det går inte. Men jag, jag klipper när tills det är klart så BOOM! The end. Så det är inte så bra att man inte kan skippa, men det gör inget. Tomma till folk, det var det då. Thank you so much for playing my game. Uh. Okej, okay, det här har jag inte sett innan. I will watch over you from the from beyond the stars.
Can we cast spells on Luigi? Save game, yes. Oh, the Lost of my Galaxy. Eh. Uh, Eller an angry marker. Eh, uh, I used to have it man to Luigi. Jag vill göra det, men... Uh, play this file. Det måste vara länge man kan göra. Uh, det går in hit. Ja. Uh, uh. Sitta här med en bok då. Vad är det Och så är det så då. Celestial Duo. Eh, jag kommer nog göra den nu, så vi kör. Chapter 1. Celestial Duo. Our story begins a very, very long time ago with a young girl. One day, this girl spotted a rusted spaceship holding a small stall child. What's your name? Are you lost? The girl asked the star child. I'm Luma and I'm waiting for Mama. She's coming for me on a comet, said the star child, who had, who had been waiting day and night. Don't worry, I'll wait with you, the little girl promised Luma. At nightfall, the little girl borrowed her father's teleco telescope and peered into the sky. She looked and looked, but she saw nothing. Hours turned into days and then years, but still the sky revealed nothing. Finally, the little girl sighed uh, 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 and said to Luma, If you stay here looking much longer, I'll be a lady soon. But then she had a, an idea. Why don't we go out there and find your mother ourselves? The girl and Luma picked up the rusty spaceship and then the two set sail into the starry sky. And this is how the search for the celestial mother began. Chapter 2 Star bits. Days passed with no sight of a co the comet or even a single planet. Instead, asteroids extended as for as far as the eye could see. If I'd known that it was going to take this long, I would have packed more jam, said the little girl above the rumble of her belly. Before they left, she had packed all the essential telescope, butterfly net, stuffed bunny, bread, milk, jam, and apricot flavored tea, but I forgot to bring water. At this, Luma burst into gales of laughter, and the girl began to pout. As long as I have Starbits, I'll be fine, said Luma. Want some? The little girl couldn't stay mad after hearing this. Luma continued to laugh and the girl couldn't help but join in. Alright, maybe just nibble. Leaning far out of the ship, the pair began to collect Starbits with the girl's net. They almost fell out a few times, but they keep, but they kept on collecting. The starbits tasted like honey. Chapter three, the comet. A beam of light pierced through the ship's window, thinking it was the morning sun. The girl peered through the window only to find a turquoise. Blue, blue comet shimmering at her. 
The little girl shook uh, the sleeping Luma awake and shouted excitedly. We have to get that comet. The pair descended up on the comet and found that it was made of ice. It looks high and low, but Luma's mother was nowhere to be found. Exhausted, the little girl sat down with a flop, utterly unable, unable to take another step. Look! Peering down at the icy ground where, the, where Luma was pointing, the girl suddenly noticed clusters of star bits encased in the ice. Pretty good, huh? Finding star bits is my speciality, said Luma, beaming. There is ice here, but it's so warm. I'll bet there's water here too. The two decided to stay on the comet for a while. Riding the Turquoise comet, the pair continued to their search for Luma's mother. Chapter 4 The Dream one night, the girl dreamed about her own mother. Where are you going? She asked her mother's retreating back. Without turning, her mother replied, Don't fret, dearest. I'm not going anywhere. I'm always watching over you like the sun in the day and the moon in the night. A wave of sadness washed over the girl. What about when it rains and I can't see the sun or the moon? Her mother thought for a moment before responding. I will turn into a star in the clouds and wait for the tears to dry. When she awoke, the girl's face was damp with tears. You have star bits in your eyes, said Luma to the girl. Wiping her face, the girl replied, These are tears, not star bits. I'm crying because I will never see my mother ever again. At this, Luma began to cry too. Mama, oh, Mama, wah! The pair traveled through the starry skies, and though they encountered many other comets, not one of them held Luma's mother. Luma was despondent. Now, now, Luma, the rain clouds won't go away if, if you keep crying, the girl said, giving Luma a squeeze. I'll give you a present if you stop. The girl closed her eyes and said gently, I'll take care of you. With these words, words she felt a small spark in her heart. Chapter 5 Home The kitchen will go here, and the library will go over here, the girl said briskly to herself. We'll put the gate here. Ever since the girl took Luma under her care, she had been bustling about a feverish pace. It's a lot of work, but it's worth to make a happy home. Uh, if turned out that sorbets aren't the only th weren't the only thing to burn in ice, there were tools and furniture unlike any they've ever seen, and the girl used them to build a home. Looking at the completed house, Luma remarked, Don't you think it's awful big for just the two of us? us? With a library, bedroom, kitchen, fountain and the gate, it was still... S it it was certainly spacious, but still, something seems to be missing. If only my father, brother and mother were here, the girl said wistfully. Indeed, the house was too large for its two small residents. That night, clutching her favorite stuffed bunny close to her heart, the girl fell asleep in the starship. Chapter 6 Friends uh, 
Then one day, while the girls sat tipping tea, a tiny apricot-colored planet appeared on the horizon. From the planet, another luma of, this, of, a, of the same color emerged. Do you know each other? The girl asked the two lumas gleefully. Despite the girls' excitement, they seemed uneasy. The two lumas neither drew closer nor backed away from each other. Instead, they just stirred. Then one luma broke the silence. My mama. At once, the apricot luma parated back. My mama, my mama. My mama, my mama. The two lumas began to dance around the girl frantically, and neither showed any sign of stopping. The girl was, was so charmed by this adorable scene that she couldn't help but laugh. And that's when something very strange happened. Suddenly, more lumas began to pop out of the apricot planet. They were different colors, but they all shouted the same thing. My mama, my mama. The sight of all the shouting lumas only made the girl laugh harder. What am I going to do with all these children? The luma just stared blankly, blankly as she doubled over laughing. I guess I will have to name each one of every one of you. Tomorrow, once she had finished naming them all, she would begin moving all the lumas into the new house. Chapter 7 The Telescope After seeing their hundredth comment, suddenly thought popped into the girl's head. I wonder if my home plant is still as blue as it was. That's when she remembered her father's telescope. Peeking into the telescope, a tiny blue dot floated into sight. It was smaller than a star bit. How strange. It's so far away, but it feels so close. She twisted the knob of the telescope, and the blue dot grew in, grew until she could make out a green grassy hill dotted with flowers. It seemed very familiar to her. Zooming in even closer, a terrace on the hill came into view. I used to go stargazing there when I lived on my home planet. She remember rubbing the sleep up out of her eyes as she followed her father up that hill to look at the stars. She remembered how she and her brother would slip sled down that hill. She remembered having picnics with her mother on that hill and on bright and windy days. And I want to go home! I want to go home right now! The girl burst into tears and Lumas didn't know what to do. I want to go home! I want to go back to my house by the hill! I want to see my mother! The girl was shouting now, her face wet with tears. But I know she's not there. I knew all along that she wasn't out there in the sky. Because... because... She's sleeping under the tree on the hill. The girl cries echoed through the stars, and a hush fell down over the area. Chapter 8 The Wish Though usually quite cheery, one day the girl became sad again. Luma drew close and tried to comfort her. Mama, you still have me. And don't be sad about your mama, because she's part of you. 
That means she always close by. It's like me. I love Starbies because they remind me of my mama. No, no, the girl said, unable to stop her with the tears. The tears. A lonely look flickered across Luna's face, but it was soon replaced by a wide grin. And I have an idea. I will transform into a comet and soaring a soaring comet they can carry all on this journey. With that, Luma trailing bands of white soared high into the sky and just as quickly started to plummet back down. Kaboom! Kablam! The ground shook and a bright light poured out of the crater that the Lumas created. The bands of light twisted together to form a comet trail. And, the, and then Luma emerged, reborn as a comet. The girl could scare, scarcely believe her eyes. But how? she kept asking. Our destiny as Luma is to transform into different things, said a red Luma who had suddenly appeared. Stars, comet, planets, we can become all of these things. When I grow up, I want to become a star that makes someone special. That makes someone special smile," said a green luma. A blue luma shimmed in. That luma turned into a real cutie of a comet, didn't he? All the lumas together said, "No more crying, Mama." Thank you," said the girl in a whisper. And she pulled the Lumas close and hugged them. From that day on, Starbits no longer fell from the girl's eyes. The comet set forth for the girl's home planet, its long trail tail blazing proudly behind it. Final chapter Family. With its many lumas and telescopes, the, plummet, the comet was quite a sight to behold. The girl and the lumas were proud to call it home. At a welcoming party for a new luma, the girl gathered everyone in the kitchen and said in a louder voice than usual, Alright everyone, let's make a cake. A cake sprinkled with star bits. Then it will be a star cake. The Lumas excitedly began to gather the ingredients. As she watched the Lumas scurry about, the girl smiled and thought to herself, This is my family now, and I will stay with them until they are ready to leave the nest. And when they do leave, I'll see them off with a smile. Because that's what makes a mother happiest. That night, when the girl lay down to sleep, a soft light enveloped her, her and reminded her of the blue planet she once called home. But it would be nice to re return home once every hundred years to nap in my favorite sleeping nook. The comet carrying the Lumas the, and the girl continues on a journey to th this very day. With more family members in tow that can be counted, it's said that the comet visits her ho the girl's home planet once every hundred years, its proud white tail glittering in the sky. The End That's all, That's all. my story is finished. Så där. Eh, låt dem eh, inte prata så bra men ja, jag inte så mycket att det. Man kan läsa den igen här om man vill. Eh, så här finns nya stycken. Eh, 
Så jag klarar spelet. Okej. Okay. Shit. Ehm. Sådär. Och den historien det är om eh, Rosalina. Ehm. Om du inte visste det. Och många tror att eh, det är Peach som är Rosalinas mamma. Och att antingen Mario eller Luigi är pappan. Men eh, det är inte Nintendo som har sagt det. Det är The Game Theory. Eh, som är ett som känner på Youtube. Det är de som har kommit med en teori om det. Eh, ja, spelet är klart. Yay. Oh shit. Eh, alltså. Eh, man kan spela som Luigi. Jag kommer att göra let's play på det. Eh, Super Luigi Galaxy då. Det kommer att vara lite skönt. Men jag är inte säker, jag kanske gör som man kan till två i stället, vi får se. Ja, det var det. Det här spelet är väldigt bra. Det var såhär gammalt. Håller fortfarande eller? Håller fortfarande, ehm, kanske jag gör det här? Oh shit. Kanske gör någon mer, jag vet inte. Det är någon glitch-video eller någonting. Jag tror inte det, men vi får se. Ja. Så vi ses i nästa Let's Play. Ja. Hej då!